There's speed, a blinding glare, a car crash, the pain, then you die. As the Canadian Civil War closed the Mexican border. The same nightmare, the same day. What's happening? That blue racer. Maybe he has the answers. running from? Where is she going? Who is she? Stay tuned to Rainbow Revolution. Riley Ray's professional news, only serious stuff TM. <laughs> State Jackalope, on the road once again, on your own, as always. Your mind wanders to the one most important friendship in your life, your childhood friend. 
Will it ever get back to how it was? Who knows? When you were kids, it was everything. Then you went your separate ways. It was tough, but people change. Sometimes it's inevitable. It's time to go. It wasn't that long ago. You still remember the vibe, the thrill of excitement, the sense that a collective dream was being fulfilled and something truly significant was happening in front of your very eyes. It was probably the last moment when folks were not ashamed to use the words nation, humankind, and future. One game isn't expensive, and winning seems achievable. However, it would certainly take at least a few tries to pick up the figurine. Emergency braking, a squeal of pain, a small body rolling under the car. It's not your fault. Not entirely, at least. Sure, you were driving fast, but the dog jumped right in front of the car. There was no time to react. Still in shock, your actions are entirely automatic. Hug the girl. Say you're sorry. There's a shovel in the trunk and a nice tree nearby. Mimi would like it here. The girl's somber words ring in your ears as you finish burying her friend. They arrived in 1946 from Poland via Sweden to end up in fucking Montana. The atrocities they suffered through. Before the war, they were this big traditional Jewish family. Not very wealthy. Nine children, grandparents, and an aunt. Fourteen people total in five rooms. Can you imagine? Only four of them have survived the camps. The parents and two daughters. My sis befriended the girls, Miriam and Sarah. They were regular teenagers, very witty, with the thickest accent I've ever heard. But there were those moments, uh, they were there all happy when someone has said something that triggered a fucked up memory. And they faded. In a moment, like candles blown out by the wind. It was pretty obvious the trauma will never go away. You meet Jake next to an immobilized Greyhound bus. 
When he asks for a ride to his own funeral, he can't exactly refuse. His foster parents just about tolerated him. They didn't even notice when he ran away three weeks ago. When a hiker discovered a little person's body completely mauled by a bear, everyone assumed it was him. Jake offers you his driver's license. Don't need it anymore since I'm dead and all. Still need cash, though. It'll take a bit of work to fake it, but you're pretty sure the cops will fall for it.
down. You want to kill yourself? <laughs> man was lying on the road, seemingly unconscious. He stopped to help, but it was a trap. Give me your money, motherfucker, the guy yells, waving a baseball bat around. Right now! Nixter, get your ass up! Enough with the drama! Damn meth head. And just like that, the bluffer isn't bluffing anymore. Now, he really is sick. The guy who threatened you now begs for help. He'll give you their daily haul. The hospital, please, he chokes out. I think he's dying. The baseball bat drops to the ground. It'd be easy to give them a taste of their own medicine.
Your journey is quiet for a change. The road ahead is clear of any dangers. The weather is nice. You can forget your worries and enjoy the ride while listening to the radio broadcasts. Sounds tempting, doesn't it? Okay, who's focus? Yes, I'll start with the home invasion in Chicago, but, uh, we dropped the stats. The fact that it's an isolated incident will only muddle the picture. <laughs> the motherfucker had Timothy Leary's book in his apartment. <laughs> uh, from here, uh, we move on to the Black Panther's party. Uh, they're hiding Leary. And they sympathize with the Palestinians. The Palestinians were recently applauded by that one Democrat from Ohio, so, uh, basically the Democrats are the same as the murderer from Chicago. So our take is that the radical left Dems want to take away our houses and our safety. Why is that on-air sign on? Bruce, turn it off! Jackalope had an encounter with some junkies. They ambushed him, pretending they needed some help. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Takes one to know one, right? Tell you what, listen carefully now. Your kid's using? There's the door. That's what you should tell them. Rules are rules. Surprise, they apply to everybody. <laughs> Want to throw everything away? Fine by me. Want to go insane and spend the rest of your lives in jail? <laughs> be my guest. Your old man will just sit back in his chair and watch. If you want to end up being losers, so be it. Your life. Your choices. <laughs> Okay, I know. I have this friend, Becky. We've known each other since childhood, real besties. But when fame found me, I ruined everything. Once, I got wasted and told Becky her newborn daughter was grosser than Kissinger's soul. Then literally pissed on her husband and on her wedding cake. Yeah, great party. That ended our friendship. She cut me off. Go figure. Yet when I hit rock bottom, Becky came back. Don't ask me why, she held my hand during detox, got me through the divorce, drove me to rehab. I apologized like a hundred times. She said nothing, but didn't leave. I hope Becky's not listening to this last dance of mine. Wouldn't want her to worry. What if he's just some delivery guy who really sucks at his job? We're assuming this jackalope fella is some kind of a mythical creature, an escape artist, or new hope, but look at his route. It just 
it makes no sense. So here's my crazy idea. He's just a dumb pizza delivery guy who's bad at his job or some other delivery man, and he can't read maps, so he's lost. The media circus he caused happened entirely by accident. Steve Landry got a bit too excited, and we all fell for it. The jackalope's probably listening to us, wondering why we're all so obsessed with him, when all he really wants is to deliver the goddamn package already. <laughs> station he hold himself up in and are waiting for a signal to barge in and bust the fucker. Have you guys heard his maniacal rants, by the way? That Miranda he keeps talking to doesn't even exist. The man of pre-recorded some random conversations, and now every time he's like, hey, Miranda, say something. He just plays the tape. Listen closely, you'll hear the click. <laughs> 
when people say I'm crazy. You know this image all too well. Black teens becoming suspects simply because of the color of their skin and a hothead cop determined to lock up or shoot down some dangerous criminals, even if it means ignoring the evidence. Textbook racial profiling. Yes, the system's broken, but you can do something about it in this case. Provoke the cop and hit the gas. The kids will disappear while the man in blue will occupy himself chasing the infamous interstate jackalope.
for a racetrack. I'm gonna stop him. Over. What the hell? Are you trying to ram every car on the road? destination of the driver. We have reports suggesting that the fugitive is now making deliveries for anonymous individuals. The police are planning to interrogate the people in question, hoping to get some leads on the interstate jackalope's future actions. Will the police finally manage to unveil the identity of the speeding criminal? While the law enforcement is dealing with earthly consequences of the driver's actions, Others turn to spiritual ones as members of the Church of Science suspect that the jackalope may be their next prophet. Let's hope we'll find out soon enough. Dean Spencer, TN Daily. You got off the main road for just a moment, but you took the wrong turnpike and got lost. The ghost town you ended up in seems to be a victim of political decisions and the stubbornness of its residents in equal measures. Empty buildings still contain remnants of lives of those who have lived here for decades. The general store looks as if it closed yesterday. An abandoned wreck guards the gas station. Did someone just call out to you? No, there's no one there. Must have been your imagination.
Johnny. As the interstate jackalope is still successfully avoiding capture, the same can be said about his mythical counterpart and source of his nickname, a rabbit with antlers or horns, commonly known as the jackalope. The creature's been talked about as early as the 13th century, but nowadays the scientists maintain that the alleged jackalopes are simply rabbits infected with a rare virus, an infection that causes horn-like tumors to grow from the animal's heads. Still, many insist that jackalopes are real, and that they are not only fast, but also aggressive and even capable of mimicking human voices. Whether that's true, proof is yet to be seen. Dean Spencer, TN Daily. The amusement park must have been abandoned years ago. Still, you decided to go past the turnstiles. Why? You're not exactly sure. The place seemed quiet and safe. Maybe that's why. You follow the strong smell of incense and find a seer's tent. There's no one inside. Only one thing left behind. A single tarot card. You freeze. There's a deeper meaning to it. It symbolizes... The fool. You laugh bitterly. At least there's some cash there. You're seconds away from agreeing to give Caesar the Amazing Dictator a ride to a nearby comic convention when a silver rocket stops behind you. Brand new, if you're not mistaken. Caesar hesitates for a moment, examines your dirty car, throws a quick thanks, and hops into the rocket. It'll be faster this way, he shouts, and slams the door. The rocket roars and leaps forward aggressively. It looks incredible resembling a silver lightning bolt.
Listen up, folks. A full refund of all legal expenses for the man who dares to stop the interstate jackalope. That's my offer. The jackalope is a menace, a threat to society, a commie and a scoundrel. He has violated more laws than Charles Manson at this point. He must be stopped. So do whatever it takes, whatever's necessary. You want to arrest the bastard? Great. Want to crash his car? Fine by me. No other option than to shoot him dead? Go for it. Shoot him. This round's on me. A get-out-of-jail-free card. Just get him off the roads and off the news. For good. This is what you can make out from this scene. There was a street show here recently, and it turned out the performer wasn't only the queen of flowers, but also a thief. The accuser is quite agitated. Noticing your ride, his eyes go wide. It's you, isn't it? The jackalope. Listen, there's an election coming up, and that con artist took my fucking watch. Not a good look for a politician. The police are useless but I'm sure you'd catch up with her in no time. I have friends on the force. Do this for me, and I'll make your life easier. Refuse, and I'll report on you.
amusement park are coming to an end, and the townsfolk couldn't be happy. One of the country's largest parks is facing demolition after almost 67 years. The park was shut down two years ago after a staggering 15 fires in just five years and remained unattended until now. The extreme number of misfortunes led many to believe the park was haunted and put pressure on the park's owner to finally dismantle it. Today, the public's wishes are finally being fulfilled as Sweetler Amusement Park will finally be replaced with modern housing. Dean Spencer, TN Daily. for 19 years. <laughs> 19. Almost half of my life. Everyone was like, forget the bastard, don't waste your time thinking about him. He doesn't even deserve that kind of attention, buddy. You know, now I know they're right. <sighs> There's just no magical switch in the brain, you know. It's, it's been too long. Speaking of the devil. Hear that? That freaking son of a bitch. do you want? Huh? I don't care, asshole. A contract's a contract. I'll say whatever the hell I want. What is winning, huh? Winning is what we all live for, isn't it? If you do something and you keep nailing it, well, it means you're a total rock star and everyone else sucks ass. Which feels good, knowing that you're uh, better than other people. Yes, you know who I'm talking about. My baby girl, my sweet, sweet ray of sunshine, the interstate frickin' jackalope. Can you hear me? Hmm? Are you listening, hon? Can you hear me breathe? Congratulations on winning that race. You're a true winner. The end of the line. Again. The opponent's here as well. You can hear a steady, passive-aggressive roar of the other car's engine. 
Who is your rival anyway? Where did they learn to drive? How long have they been waiting? How did they know you're coming? None of this matters. You just want to finally win this race. You almost succeeded last time. This time around, you'll be smarter, faster. This time, you'll make it. Death in the family, how very, very sad. How about an eternity in a cage to chew on it? Just you, your trusty car, and a never-ending nightmare starring your dead relative. What do you say? That glare, that voice, not again. As you fall into the abyss again, you realize your failures were no coincidence. Something's up. Someone's stopping you from defeating this strange driver. And unless you win, you'll be stuck in this loop. Why is this happening? What's with that voice? Why can't you remember your past? Questions still echo in your mind as everything around you grows darker. I have to try again, is your last thought before dying. <laughs> 